What if I told you one half of the technicians that have come into the trade in the last couple years cannot explain how a piston retracts on a simple hydraulic brake system? And that leads to a bigger issue. Lance Mechanics here. I want to talk about what's happening in the industry and how we need to go back to basics because for what I'm seeing is too many young eager people are coming into the industry but they're being forced through the system so quick that they're forgetting basics things that I can't believe I'm even talking about but it does come across now and then and we do have to talk about it but this is one of them so if you clicked on the video I will give you the information on how that retracts and we're going to talk about other things so this is always something I've asked students in the past and it stumps them, but it's so simple. Everybody thinks once the piston's out, it's some complicated process for this thing to retract. What if I told you it was mechanical? So here we have a piston. This is just a rough diagram. How this retracts after you let off the brakes is something called a square cut seal. This seal moves side to side anywhere from four to 6,000 could change on manufacturers, but here, I'll draw it here really quickly. Once it's on an angle like this, it wants to revert back to its memory. So it wants to be like this. So that's all it does. That little mechanical force and the pressure is what retracts the piston back. And I've had some interesting conversations. I went south and I talked to a lot of, I was asking them their stories, why they're in the industry, how long they've been in the trade. And I asked them what their experience was and where they taught and where they learned. and. A lot of them went to the colleges. The problem was in the colleges, they were forcing them into electrical. Electrical is like the end of the line. That's the last thing you wanna be learning when you're in school. And I know this sounds really messed up. Most vehicles are modern. The problem is you have to learn the basics first and there's a lot of basics. Cars are complicated. You have to learn what the previous generation before you learned on top of what is out there now. And if you don't learn what became before, everybody's getting set up for failure. And here's another example. I made this video a while ago, tire pressures. So I brought my vehicle after coming in off the highway and I watched a seasoned technician let air out of hot tires. You know what it says right here? Tire pressure set when cold. What happens when you heat up air in a tire? It expands, the pressures increase and now, effectively, when he was letting air out of my tires, he decreased, decreased the pressures. Basics, again, basics. Whether we're forgetting them or they're not reiterated, the, the whole industry needs to start with basics. Now you could be saying you're just fussy, Lance. No, 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 this is something I see when I visit around Ontario. Uh, it's a problem with the industry, it's a problem with the mechanic shortage, and it's a problem that no one really wants to address. They just want bodies, they want people with a pulse, so they can make money. They don't want to fully train a mechanic. They don't want to keep that guy who's been there for 30 years because he costs too much. They want to get rid of him and bring in this young guy. This young guy is always going to be eager to work. He's going to try and do his best, but he's being set up for failure. And you could say that's happening in a lot of industries. So I don't have to beat a dead horse on this one. Calipers, what I talked about, the air pressure, two basic things. And a lot of guys just don't get it and maybe they haven't been taught it or they forgot about it. But again, back to basics. So post in the comments what you think. This is a little more simple video. I know I'm not ranting really, really hard, but it's things you catch as you get older and you're like, hmm, I wonder. I wonder, you know, it just makes you think. So this is what I think. Uh, again, post in the comments what you think. Lance Mechanics, have a good one.